Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of my building a useful drumming vocabulary. Please watch part 1 if you haven't because it lays a very important foundation that you must have to take advantage of the rest of the series. Part 2 is all about orchestration, specifically 4 levels of orchestration. Each increasing level is more complex but allows you more options as well as musical expressiveness. These 4 levels will also allow you to maximize the potential of any single pattern. In my case, an alternate paradiddle. Let me show you a brief summary of the four levels of orchestration. The first and basic type is instrument. You can choose which instruments you want to land on and you can do this systematically by starting with just the toms and snare, for example. then adding symbols into the mix. Type 2 is layering meaning two or more instruments are played at any one time. I personally like to use a kick drum and cymbal combo because it sounds pleasant to me. Type 3 is tonality, and it's at this level that you start to have infinite combinations because volume and timbre are involved. For example, snare, we have ghost notes, rim shots, hi-hat, we have the tip, and the shaft. For the right cymbal, we have the bow, the bell, and the edge and everything in between for you to explore. The last type 
is EQ. This last type only works if you've mastered some freedom in the first three types. Because you don't just think about instrument, tone or dynamics anymore, you also have to think of how you want to fill the frequency spectrum in whatever context you're playing in, sort of like a studio engineer. Cymbals generally produce higher pitches and live in higher frequencies. The snare drum and tom 1 usually lives in the middle spectrum. Toms 2, 3 and the kick drum fill the lower end of the spectrum. Also worth taking note is the loudness of frequencies. For example, if you play a rack cymbal on the bow versus the bell, both will have approximately the same frequencies, but the bell will be louder in certain high frequencies. And for kick drum, if you play it normally versus slamming it, slamming it will produce louder higher frequencies, giving you more attack and more beta click. To summarize, with any pattern, we can take it through instrumental orchestration, layering, tonality, and EQing. That's all for part 2 of this tutorial. If you want to watch all my videos one week early, join the Art of Drumming faction and become my patron for just $4. This way, you get to support my work as well as enjoy various perks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one.